I feel like it is inappropriate for me to have these colored lights on during Christmas. Let's change this really quick. A more green on the, oh yes. Oh, why didn't I think of this before? I mean, that's as like red as I can get it, unless I do it opposite like green here and then red there. Oh, oh, it's Christmas. I'm actually filming this before Thanksgiving. I haven't even had my turkey yet, so... <laughs> but now that we have the red and the green lights, I am feeling festive! <laughs> Welcome back! What's up, guys? It's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching... Oh my gosh, we are watching a Disney classic Christmas film. And I don't know what, how I thought, like no one asked for this film. I purely going about my day and thought about this movie and how much I used to love it when I was younger. I don't remember so much of it. All I remember is that scene of Tim Allen falling off the roof. And I was like, I have to, I have to react to this. I have to do a commentary on this. I haven't seen this since I was a kid. My TV was still like a huge box, like it wasn't flat, it was a huge box of a TV. And I think it's just like so appropriate for this time, and I think we all just need to have this feel good movie. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media, all my handles will be in the description below, and follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Alrighty y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Ugh, oh, when does this come out too? Like early 2000s probably? Tim Allen! We got the Buzz Lightyear movie coming out soon too. Like that's so exciting. And I'm just, I'm just so excited. Tim Allen has been the crux of all of our childhood entertainment. I gotta put on chapstick because it is winter time. And my lips are getting real chapped. This has been our best year ever. Thanks to do it all for you, Dolly. What the freak is that? We're also about families, but our families aren't here with us right now. That's probably why Johnson's secretary is sitting in his lap. <laughs> you guys have a- Oh, shoot. You gotta call him out like that. I mean, he looks pretty proud. He was like, yes, yeah, sorry. Jeez, goodness, oh my God. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, merry. Fun fact, I was a caroler once. Twice? No, once. Do you want to come in for a minute? Neil's waiting in the car, so. Why doesn't he come in? Because Daddy says you'll just end up saying something snotty. Not necessarily. <laughs> Rude or sarcastic. Whatever it takes. See? Ayo! We love a good witty character. Oh, I love it. Good script writing! Definitely something that you won't be able to appreciate when you're like, when you're a little kid. I definitely didn't understand half what was going on here. Neil doesn't believe in Santa. <gasps> well, Neil's head comes to a point. No way. He told Charlie that Santa doesn't exist or that he doesn't believe in Santa. Bring me Neil. And he's telling them to rush. Oh my, God. bring me Neil. You see this elbow, Neil? Coming after you. Never do that to a kid. Christmas is supposed to be magical and fun, okay? Gah. Don't you change me. Why do you guys dog? always have to fight? Oh, my heart. It's your mom singing. Sounds a lot like fighting, doesn't it? Cats, even. <laughs> Yo, this script is so good. Hell no. It's just kind of babyish to believe in that kind of stuff. What are you talking about? I believe in Santa Claus. I'm not a baby. Well. Maybe it is time you left. <laughs> wow. You're going to call your husband a baby in front of your son? Oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh, he burned everything? <laughs> it's pretty good. You know, Neil's a real good cook. Yeah, and you should see him walk on water. No need to rub it in his face. There's just something about him that makes me want to... Lash out irrationally. Where did you hear that? From Neil. I learned a lot from him. He listens to me. I feel like if I was Charlie's age, I would have no idea what irrationally means. Not one clue. What's that? What's what? A rose such a bladder. It's not a ladder. I said arose such a clatter. It means it uh, came a big noise. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm genuinely confused. How do reindeer fly? They don't have any wings. Horns. Antlers. <laughs> you 
know, the, the, there's a slipstream of fat, the air go, if they're, they're, they move fat, they're weightless. Me, me trying to answer any question, me doing a commentary, honestly, that is how I talk. What? I heard clatter. Hey, using the vocabulary he learns. Oh, it came a big noise. Oh, that's so adorable. Charlie is great. Come on, let's go back to bed. Hey, yo, Santa came. Maybe it's Santa. Not now, Charlie. I want you to sit here, and I want you to stay right there. Stay there. Good, good job. And we love a rebellious child. Oh, I'm so excited. My inner child is screaming right now. Hey, you. What's that? Oh. And you're a Santa murderer. <laughs> you murdered Santa, bro. And he's not Santa. Well, oh God! Until you murdered him. If something should happen to me. Put on my suit. The reindeer will know what to do. No way! He has a card like that in case. That's kind of amazing. Stop! That's creepy. That is so creepy. <sighs> my heart. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay! Oh, the slow camera, the music crescendoing for the big reveal of Santa's sleigh. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Ah, I can't breathe properly because of how excited I am. That is hard to explain. It's oh! <laughs> Boy, you are not going up there. Stop. No way. Wait, no way. I love how it did the rose such a gladder. That's so cute. These are Santa's reindeer, aren't they? I hope not. These are uh, a gift. Are those actual, like, animals? <laughs> Yes, Tim Allen! I hope he did that stunt. That's great. This is great. This is absolutely amazing. So, uh, if we go straight on this road and we hit I-94... <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly Santa's out of secret, right? People can see him, see the sleigh just going around. That's kind of incredible. What about all the presents that still need to be delivered? Oh, that's, that answers my question. They're going to be delivering them. You know what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. Because this whole thing is stupid. How come everything I want to do is stupid? <laughs> How can you say no to that face? It's hilarious. Me wrestling with my my internal struggles on a daily basis. What are emotions? I don't know. <laughs> it's me trying to edit. Me editing my face 24-7. Ah! Me frustrated trying to rank solo Apex Legends. Ah! I could do this all day. Got my boots. Now I've got the suit on. Yo, honestly, that robe looks hella comfortable. Tell me that doesn't look so cozy, though. Like, you're probably way warmer in that. That's hilarious. He goes, ho, 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 as he's being... That's hilarious. That's the origin of ho, 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 I guess. Oh, I love his antics. The little quirks in his movements, his facial expressions. I really dig what Tim Allen is doing here for kids in this movie because it makes it that much more enjoyable, you know? <gasps> oh, hey, nice puppy. Who's down there? <laughs> Did you just hear a shotgun cock? No way. Oh, no way. <laughs> they added a burp audio. Why is the 
the Disney Channel the start of great freaking content. God damn, this is amazing. Look, Comet, like I said, there is nothing left. Yeah, you idiot. It's called a Christmas miracle. Get on with the program. Santa? Scott Calvin. How come your clothes are so baggy? He hasn't grown into them yet. How come you don't have a beard? Because I shaved. Oh, don't be angry. Go back to sleep. Little do you know you're making this kid's dream come true. You're supposed to drink the milk. I am lactose intolerant. This close to taking all those presents back to the chimney with me. Stop being so threatening and where'd you get a piece of celery? Where did that celery come from? The heck? That's hilarious. I never had a fireplace as a child as well. Growing up in this house, actually, I've, I've never had a fireplace. So in the, in the one or two years that I did believe in Santa Claus, I was always just like, well, he's not gonna come down my chimney. Is he just using the front door? <laughs> Maybe I'm the back slide door handle thing. I remember specifically waking up in the middle of the night and looking out my window and just, oh, those moments are the best. Oh! Hate that. It's like you have a sudden urge to want to catch it for him, you know what I mean? Oh, oh dear, so aggressive, Scott, jeez. Oh! Oh, stop, he has a puppy? Where did the puppy come from? Oh my god, his laugh is so cute and innocent. He's having such a good time. And to all a good night, when I wake up, I'm getting a cat scan. A cat scan? Does he think he's dreaming? Is this okay, Dad? No, it's not okay. Hey, does this look like home to you guys? They're like, yeah. Hey, oh. hey, hey, buddy, can you hear me? Oh, yes, the little pole thing. It's the North Pole. That's the North Pole? It's a literal pole. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, look at all the elves and the costumes are so beautiful. <gasps> This must have been such a fun production day. I mean, it's definitely hard to deal with a lot of kid actors at once, but I think this is adorable and hilarious and magical, and I love it. Looks like they put so much care and effort to building this little stage for the this movie, and I love it. Who's causing all the trouble around here? She, she is. is. Excuse me, are we on a coffee break? We don't drink coffee. coffee? Then I guess the break is over. Oh, shoot! Oh, God, intimidating! Who are you? I'm Bernard. Nice to meet you, Santa. Hi, Bernard. I love how, like, all the elves are, like, just, oh, it's a new guy. Probably something happened, and now there's a new new fella in. It's like this is a little rotation cycle that they are used to, which is kind of incredible. I'm thirsty and hungry, too. Charlie, I thought I told you to stay in the sleigh. Who's this? This is my son, Charlie. I'm sorry, Charlie, this is B B B Bernard. Bernard. Yeah, get on with the program. Now hold out your hand, all right? Now, be very careful. This is very old, just like me. I wonder how old these elves are. Are they just like eternal? Oh, I love snow globes. Why oh, that's don't adorable. You hold on to it for me for a while. It might come in handy. I promise I'll take real good care of it. <laughs> I love this child actor. He's so cute. <laughs> Can we take a direct flight back to reality, or do we have to change planes in Denver? Uh, Larry, take Charlie here and get him some chow. <laughs> I love the script. Oh, look at the candy canes. <gasps> Dang, I'm kind of curious as to how much the budget was for this movie. Oh well, yeah, look at all these toys. We got trains going through. I mean, it is Disney, but goddamn, they really went over the top with this and I love it. Putting on the hat and jacket, you accepted the contract. What contract? The card in the Santa suit. You said you read it, right? So when you put on the suit, he fell subject to the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Not Santa Claus the person, Santa Claus the Claus. <laughs> I also love how he's the New York accent. The Santa Claus. And putting on the suit and entering the sleigh, the wearer waves any and all rights to any previous identity, fully accepts the duties and responsibilities of Santa Claus. Oh my God, Tim Allen is incredible. He just knows when the camera's on him, he knows what to do. It means you put on the suit, you're the big guy. Dude, I definitely did not understand the word clause when I was younger. <laughs> so this is, this is hilarious to me. You leave tomorrow morning. You have 11 months to get your affairs in order and you're due back here Thanksgiving. I'm not coming back here on Thanksgiving. I'll ship the list to your house. What list? A list. Naughty and nice. Stupid. 
making a list. Oh, it twice. you're gonna make. Ah! What if I don't buy into this Santa Claus thing? What if I choose not to believe it? It's literally right in front of you, Sky. Bro, don't do that. You wouldn't want to be responsible for killing the spirit of Christmas, now would you, Santa? Yeah, would you? Santa? Huh? Would you? Ah, so they are interested in the new Santa Claus. That also looks like a very comfortable robe. Oh, well, thanks. My own recipe. It took me 1,200 years to get it right. 1,200 years? That's not surprising. Most grown-ups can't believe in magic. It just sort of grows out of them. <laughs> Judy's actress is incredible. I love her. She's more articulate than I'll ever be. I see it. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're missing the point. What is the point? Seeing isn't believing. Believing is seeing. Please tell me this child is like on Broadway. I love her costume with all the beads. I want a costume like that. Can I be her? Thanks. Yeah. No way. No way. He woke up in his room? What kind of magic is that? Go make some coffee. He doesn't know how to make coffee. He's a child. Make your own coffee! Ah, oh, and he's still in the robe! What a good reveal to show that it Whoa. actually came true. Let's see. Yeah, Santa Claus. Hey, same initials as your name, Dad. <gasps> Scott Calvin, stop! How did I not notice that at first? This kid is more creative than I am. Nice PJs, very festive. Where'd you get them? I don't know. Judy gave them to you last night. He remembers everything. I love it. Bye, Dad. Thanks for a great night at the North Pole. Oh, Charlie's so happy. It's just a dream. Stuff like that doesn't happen. It was a dream. Oh, look at Charlie, though. He's so happy. Normally, I sleep naked. Fuck naked. Ah. Good morning, Mrs. McGloin. Mary Catherine. <laughs> so classic but did you see the look of charlie's face when he was leaving before he was so not excited to be with his dad but now he thinks he has like the coolest dad ever which he does because he is a freaking santa claus as a dad so oh it's so exciting ah oh, i love it i love it this is my dad scott calvin my dad is santa claus <laughs> oh boy <laughs> i think what he means is I'm like Santa Claus. Thank goodness he owns like a toy factory. Let me get this straight, Santa. If I want to be Santa Claus, all I gotta do is push you off a roof. Oh. That, that, I can see where it got messy. Maybe Charlie shouldn't have mentioned the whole roof thing, but yes. May I speak, please? I am a doctor. No, he's not. He's a psychiatrist. Oh. <sighs> Two statements that just made me cringe. I hate it. I hate it when someone thinks they're like so much better than you because of like their position. Ow, their position. Or like, hey, I was in school for six or extra years than you. Or I have like this degree and this degree, and I'm a doctor, and I'm and I like when they're just like, yeah, I'm. A I, can I speak first? I hate that entitlement so much, so that made me internally cringe, but then also it made me cringe when he says, no, you're not, you're a psychiatrist, because they're definitely doctors. They're 100% doctors. Oh God, that also made me cringe. Don't make fun of him that way, and to all psychiatrists. They have really incredible jobs. They are doctors. But also don't be entitled. <laughs> Scott, can I have a minute? Sure. I think Charlie is conflicted at the moment. You got more important things to worry about, you know? Like, where are you gonna get more sweaters after the circus pulls out of town? Dude, I love his insults. I shouldn't be laughing at them, but his insults are golden. But also, why do I love his sweater? I want it. I want to wear it for myself. <laughs> you were right about the sweater. Okay, uh, up with the shirt. Let's take a listen to the old ticker. Oh, shoot. That was like a- Oh! Oh! Stop it! Jingle bells. Jingle bells! His heart beats jingle bells! Ah! How did I not remember that as a kid? Oh my god! I was about to say, like, shoot, that was like a vibe! That's like a dance song! And 
I can like get to. And oh my god, I started freaking beating to Jingle Bells. Oh my god, that's a whole different level of comedy. I can't. Disney Channel was doing it right this era. What? I want some ballet slippers. <laughs> the kid thinks that he's Santa. I mean, if you're gonna be Santa Claus, you gotta embody Santa Claus. I think it's safe to say you're taking the Santa thing to an unhealthy level. Here's my card. Call me. Why? Because you're a psychiatrist? Don't make fun of him that way. Really Definitely not. They have really... Come on, Charlie. We're going home. But we just started. He's in the middle of a game. You're in the middle of the game. Let your kid play. And he said he'll leave. He'll just go. What the heck? Don't take it out on Charlie. I got a delivery for SC. USC? Scott Calvin, that's me. USC. University of Southern California represents! Except I didn't go there! Woo! I didn't even finish college, I don't even have my degree! Yes! What the heck is this? This has gotta be some sort of, like, safety hazard. It's a list. That's all a list? You're kidding me, right? Oh my god, it's legit an entire list. How are you gonna know everyone who celebrates Christmas? Yo, he's gonna try to return it? You can't! You have a responsibility! Yo, they needed five vans for it? <laughs> Incredible. Incredible! There's no use! I'm in big trouble. Mm -hmm. Are we doing the right thing, Neil? Something needs to shake Scott. But to, to take away his visitation rights... It Honey... The man is still You're taking away his visitation rights?! I mean, what was so bad about Charlie believing in Santa? Exactly! Exactly! There's nothing wrong with it! What's happening? Is it directly impacting you? The weight change and his hair change? Like, seriously. Was it bad that, that Charlie has a dad that's freaking awesome? Talk about commitment! We love the commitment! Are you kidding me? Jeez! And now you're taking away his visitation rights for that?! You guys are the crazy ones! Boy, I really wanted a mystery date, King. Oh, the zoom in on the camera during the monologue is perfect. Makes it intense, emotional, we love it. Christmas morning came and, oh, I got dozens of presents. Oh, I got everything except mystery date. Oh, the camera pausing right there during the hook. I was three and it was an Oscar Mayer weenie whistle. Christmas came. No weenie whistle. Oh, now we know why you're like the way that you are. No camera zoom for you. No emotionalness for you. Okay, I told George everything about <gasps> you and the North Pole. Oh boy. I'm sorry to do this in light of the holiday season, but in the best interest of the child, I'm granting the petition of Dr. and Mrs. Miller. No, Charlie is crying. All of your visitation rights are suspended. No! hearing after the first of the year. No! That is... That is terrible. That is terrible. It was like that easy? Just because of the whole Santa Claus thing? What? No way! I can't... I can't accept it. I didn't even understand this as a kid. I don't remember this. I didn't remember how tr tr like tragic that is. How sad that is depressing. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my heart. It just like sunk. It is now on, in my, on my, in the stomach. Maybe in the pancreas area, area. Liver? Where is the bottom most part of your stomach? My heart is there instead, okay? I forgot how this movie ends. I know exactly who he is. Charlie, he's not Santa. He is too Santa. We went to the North Pole together. Oh my God, this kid is so cute. I can't, my heart. Oh my god, that gave me so much anxiety. Do not throw snow globes. Oh my god, do not do that. That is an accident waiting to happen. Oh. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Love you, Dad. <laughs> my heart. Oh, shoot. It started to float back up through the uh, digestive tract. The heart's going back up. Ow. I think it's a much better idea if you stayed here with your mom. I want to be with you, Dad. Boy, I love hearing you say that. Oh, we love a good relationship growth in the movie. Boy, this bird is dry. Haven't you people heard about basting? Bernard? Bernard! What the heck? How'd you get here? Bernard, can I go? Please, can I go, Bernard? It's okay with me. Charlie, if 
ha 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 And he's gone to the North Pole! Charlie! You cannot do that to a mother though. Oh my god. This is our perpetrator, Scott Calvin, 38 years old, believes himself to be Santa Claus. Stop, dude! That's like, I can see how they would legit think that Scott is like insane in the membrane. Santa, this is Quentin, head of research and development. Quentin, good to meet you. Hello, Santa. Charlie and I put our heads together, and I think we've got a few surprises for you. Charlie is adorable. Look, he's having the best time of his life back there. Mom? Oh, Charlie. Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm terrific! Yo, he's having a blast! Are you kidding me? Completely flame retardant. What what happened other times you were on a you were going into a fireplace that was still lit? What do I do if I fall off a roof? He's only scared about the roof thing because he doesn't want to die the same way that he accidentally surprised the last Santa Claus and then he doesn't become Santa Claus, which is actually really interesting. Not only does he not want to die, but I feel like he's also starting to enjoy the role of Santa Claus, you know? He's really starting to embrace it, which is amazing. Oh, we love the dramatic walking! And look, he's got the full-grown beard and everything. Oh, it's incredible. Incredible. Stop! Uh, not this You can't tell me this is not the coolest move ever. Why? It was so unnecessary. But why is it a pop? <laughs> I'm having such a good time, guys. Nothing can kill my spirits. Gotta show you this. Are you gaming jingle bells? No screen. DC Tenler and air freshener. And most important of all, your hat. My hat? Fly with two-way radio. The microphone's in here. It connects you directly to Chewy. Stop. Cookie cocoa dispenser. The cocoa comes out nice and hot. You're stop it. No way a kid manufactured this. You're telling me that he and a little bit of elves who've been alive for 1,200 years and been nowhere other than the North Pole. You're telling me that they did all this tech into the sleigh just for him, just for this moment once a year. You're forever this year. Oh, they Thank are. you very much. You've grown too. You're a very good girl this year. My heart. It just warms up my heart. I absolutely Ooh. love it. And oh, now he's having the cookies and milk. I think the milk's a little sour. It's soy Ooh. milk. You said you're lactose intolerant. My heart. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh, they thought of everything. That is adorable. And that girl is adorable. The fact that he doesn't like soy milk. <laughs> you gotta try oat milk, Santa. Oat milk is the best. Oat milk, the goat milk, ah! And best for the environment. Fun fact, almond milk produces a lot of carbon as well. The way that it's pr being mass produced and stuff. Freeze! Oh, 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 you officers really gave me a start. Merry Christmas, guys. They actually caught him? Where's the boy? He's in the sleigh. God, Calvin, we're bringing him out. Santa. Oh no, the hat fell. Oh, yo, they're carrying him? God, they're strong. Santa, are you all right? Santa? It'll be okay, kids. Let him go. Let Santa go. Oh, my heart. Let him out. You guys are arresting the real Santa Claus. Honey, I'm sure Charlie's fine. You arrested him without thinking about the kid on the roof? Oh my God, he's just sitting there. Look at his head, little peeping out. <laughs> we find that we can get around a lot faster if we fly. Oh, well, this is every kid's dream. I wish I was Charlie. I want to fly. <laughs> so cute. I to bust out my dad. Oh. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> Not the fast forward effect. I can't. It's like a classic early 2000s thing. That's just hilarious every time it happens and it doesn't get old for me. What kind of magical contraption? Oh my god, I want it. Tinsel, not just for decoration. Please just prove that you're Santa. We're a family. Aww. 
You, me, your mom. Even Neil. And Neil. Yes! And they need to be with you too. We love character growth! So I can't be selfish either. Yes, exactly! Oh my god, that's so okay, cute! Man. Oh my god, why is this movie the best freaking Christmas movie ever? All right, this is the official applauding moment for the kid actor, crying on command. We love it, we love it. Good job, Charlie. Oh my God, it's you. It really is you. <laughs> she believes? Santa Claus. Oh. oh, my heart. Oh, I love that. And you know how they said, you know, adults just kind of don't believe it because they get grow out of that magic feeling. And I love how they they got that moment from the mother. They got it from her, and I love that. She did a really good job at portraying that. Santa? Oh, even from Neil! Oh! Oh, even from Neil! I can't. They believe it. Laura, he's sucking us into his delusions. No, he's not. Get up there. Get Layla! Oh, this is so adorable. Goodbye, Charlie. Bye, Dad. Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. Good night, Santa. I'm sorry, Charlie. That's okay, Neil. You're just denying your inner child. Oh, damn. Someone give him a mic so that he can drop it. He just said you're denying your inner child when he becomes the psychiatrist and not Neil. Mystery date the game. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, what a freaking amazing. Oh, and I see what you did there, movie with transition. We love it. Mom's stupid ball's not working. Oh, he wants to see his dad. Well, it is Christmas. He's still delivering things to other kids, remember? Can't be selfish. Hey, sport. Just kidding, he made it. Go on, get out of here. Heart, I can't. Just a quick one. And uh, oh, my heart. Not over any ocean, Scott. Bye. <sighs> Scott. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, you ever hear of Amelia Earhart? Okay, not over the Bermuda Triangle. I'm watching you, Scott. Oh, this is so good. So cute. I love it. Yay! Oh my gosh, what an incredible film. Seriously. It was better than I even remembered it to be, which is like, ugh, ugh. Ah, I can't even contain the excitement that I have. <laughs> I kind of briefly mentioned it as it was happening, but when Charlie's mother and Neil kind of realized and kind of fell into that believing in Santa Claus, I loved how they did that. I love how they didn't have Scott or Charlie kind of prove it to them with like visuals and stuff like that. Just because logic, you know, just because all of your, everything in your brain that makes sense is not letting you believe in this beautiful magical thing, you know, like doesn't mean that it's not true. And it, it really translated that message well. And like, I think that's just like a perfect thing and a perfect way to end it because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same if like, let's say they brought them to the North Pole and, and proved them prove them right. Oh my god, you are Santa. And I think the actors did a really good job. Even the mother had tears in her eyes. And that's that's just so cute and so warm and fuzzy feeling. And I'm, I'm such a sucker for all that jazz. So I absolutely love this movie. It was 10 times better than I remember it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. It's just a perfect movie to get me into the holiday spirit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. Alrighty, y'all. Have the bestest day ever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye.